whereas chondritic thighs have an endoskeleton which is cartilaginous but these have a bony endoskeleton with hard bones scutes actually are found on reptiles which are nothing but the dry cornified skin of reptiles which is covered by scutes it is found in class reptilia so therefore this is also not the right answer follicular thermus the one more term for that is cold blooded animal so option b is the right option here Hello everyone a warm welcome to the session on first pc biology i'm dr divya biology faculty with yashram pri university college temple of excellence mysore so in the session let us learn about class ostic thighs under chapter 4 of animal kingdom so let's learn the characteristic of ostic thighs and then move on to learning about some of the mcqs that can be framed under this particular topic so ostic thighs so all the fishes come under the ostic thighs and we learned in the previous session that is the sharks the hammerhead sharks all that comes under the chondritic thighs so there's a difference between the type of scale the arrangement of teeth and the presence of air bladder and absence of air bladder with respect to chondritic thighs and ostic thighs so what are the characteristics of ostic thighs we shall look into so if you need to know the difference you can look at the previous session wherein i have done the topic class chondritic thighs so class ostic thighs they are the marine and the freshwater fishes they are cold blooded animals that is they are poikilothermous wherein these organisms are not capable of regulating their body temperature their body temperature tends to change according to the external temperature so they are cold blooded animals and they have an endoskeleton which is bony whereas chondritic thighs had an endoskeleton which is cartilaginous but these have a bony endoskeleton with hard bones the body is streamlined if you can see the shapes of fishes they are streamlined right so they have something like this it is streamlined why because so that it can cut through the water currents and swim fast through the water currents so that is one of the adaptations of fishes and the mouth is mostly terminal to facilitate feeding or to help in feeding so they have a terminal mouth that is at the base of the body or the head now they have four pairs of gills and the gills are covered by operculum so that is why we cannot see the gill slits so if you can see here they have an operculum that is a covering here below that operculum you inside that operculum you can find the gill slit but chondritic thighs did not have an operculum their gill slits were just like that visible and the skin is covered by cycloid or tenoid scales so if you look at the scales the scales are almost like this this is how they have the scales so but chondritic thighs had scales which look like a tooth the molar tooth but these have cycloid or tenoid scales and they have air bladder that is why they are buoyant in nature or they are capable of floating in water and therefore if they stop swimming also they will not drown and they have a heart which is two chambered wherein they have one auricle and one ventricle next talking about their reproduction the sexes are separate that is they are dioecious wherein the male fish and the female fishes are separate fertilization is usually external wherein they will lay the eggs and then the sperm will fertilize the egg outside the body of the organism in the water therefore fertilization is external and then the young ones develop and they are mostly oviparous that is they are egg laying and development is direct without any larval stage in between so this is about their reproduction let's look into some of the examples under the class ostic thighs examples there are different marine fishes there are different freshwater fishes and there are fishes which are kept for ornamental purpose that is for or for entertainment purpose that is aquarium fishes so let's look at the examples under these three so marine fishes there is the exocetus which is the flying fish so this is exocetus so if you look at this you can see how it can spread its wings just like a bird so it can fly in the water just to a smaller distance hence the name flying fish next is hippocampus which is sea horse so this is hippocampus commonly called as sea horse 
it looks like a horse so that's why the name sea horse like some of the freshwater fishes these are the fishes that we usually consume it is of commercial importance also that is rohu and katla are two important fishes that we consume even magur that is also which looks like a catfish also consumable but it's not consumed to that extent like rohu and katla and usually uh, people say that it's not good to consume magur or the catfish so therefore people usually avoid consuming it but still some places people tend to consume magur as well so rohu so this is rohu and then there is katla this is magur which looks like a catfish and then we have some aquatic fishes so these are the aquatic that is uh, marine fishes exocetus and hippocampus then freshwater fishes rohu cartland magur and two important aquatic aquarium fishes that is betta which is also called as fighting fish and petrophyllum that is angel fish so this is betta it's called bet fighting fish because you cannot usually put this fish with other fishes in the aquarium because they tend to kill it because of their aggressive nature so that is why they keep it separately in an aquarium or in a fish bowl that these are different beautiful bright colors of fishes are available under the fighting fish and this is the angel fish which is called petrophyllum angel fish so these are some of the examples under the class ostichthyes so now we know the characteristics and the examples let's move into studying the mcqs under this so the skin of ostichthyes is covered by is it placoid scales is it scutes is it cycloid scales or calcium carbonate placoid scales placoid scales now don't get confused with placoid scales and cycloid scales here placoid scales are found in chondrichthyes class chondrichthyes not in ostichthyes so therefore this is the wrong option option b scutes scutes actually are found on reptiles which are nothing but the dry cornified skin of reptiles is covered by scutes it is found in class reptilia so therefore this is also not the right answer next calcium carbonate it's found in some of the mollusks in mollusks and all we find the calcium carbonate that is octopus then uh, sea oyster oysters or pearl oysters in that we find these calcium carbonate covering or deposition so the skin of ostichthyes is actually covered by cycloid scale so therefore option c is the right option here next ostichthyes are buoyant because so they are capable of floating in water why are they capable of floating in water because they have a air blade bladder yes they have a air bladder which gets filled with air therefore it gives them the ability to float in water so option a is the right answer here do not have an air bladder actually chondrichthyes do not have an air bladder so that is why chondrichthyes have to keep on swimming in order to prevent drowning next they have paired fins so paired fins will help them to swim but if they stop beating their or moving their paired fins then they will drown so paired fins is not the right option here body is covered by scales body of course is covered by scales but that scales prevent it acts like a water repellent so therefore it doesn't have anything to do with the swimming so therefore air bladder having air bladder option a is the right answer here next one ostichthyes have a dash chambered heart 1 2 3 and 4 so option b is the right answer wherein we had studied right they have one auricle and one ventricle therefore they have two chambered heart three chambered is found in reptiles apes and amphibians so three chambered are usually found in reptiles and in the case of amphibians four chambered is found in apes and in the case of mammals so therefore in ostichthyes the right answer here is it has a two chambered heart next cold blooded animals are called homeothermous poikilothermous thermus none of the above homeothermous are warm blooded animals so the option is not right 
it is poikilothermous poikilothermous the one more term for that is cold blooded animal so option b is the right option here dash is a characteristic feature of ostic thighs so is it tympanum no because tympanum are found in amphibians and in reptiles it is an external ear opening without the pinna eyelids no they do not have eyelids eyelids are found in amphibians reptiles not in uh, ostic thighs they do not have streamlined body four limbs and hind limbs four limbs and hind limbs are not found in fishes because fishes have fins for locomotion they don't have limbs so therefore the right answer here is streamlined body what was the question dash is a characteristic so what is the characteristic here streamlined body next hippocampus are commonly called flying fish seahorse fighting fish angel fish so flying fish it is exocetus seahorse is hippocampus fighting fish is called betta it's betta angel fish is petrophyllum petrophyllum so therefore the right answer here is c horse so the question can be framed like this exocetus are commonly called beta are commonly called petrophyllum are commonly called you should be able to answer so here for this question hippocampus are commonly called as c horse option b next question which one of the following belong to ostic thighs dogfish sawfish hagfish cutla so here dogfish comes under chondritic thighs chondritic even sawfish also comes under chondritic thighs hagfish comes under cyclostomata which is an ectoparasite the right answer here is cutla which is a freshwater fish freshwater fish and this comes under chondritic thighs so they can give cutla they can give rohu or they can give magur so different options can be given or they can ask which one of the following is a fresh water ostic thighs then you have to write they can give marine that is hippocampus then they can give exocetus they can give petrophyllum and then they can go in for or petrophyllum is an aquarium fish then they can go in for giving the option as either cutla rohu or mag magur because it is a fresh water so like that the questions can be twisted and framed so this was about the session wherein we learned about the class chondritic under subphylum vertebrata of phylum chordates so this was about the session i hope you understood the session well we shall meet again in the coming session wherein we'll take up a new topic under subphylum vertebrata and then move on to studying some of the mcqs under that particular topic so meet you in the next session thank you